interesting looking indie game called All Our Asias. So I'm gonna just load up a new game. Yep. Never played this before, no idea what it's like. Okay, this looks weird. Oh, the storyteller begins to speak. A place with 4.4 billion humans, multifaceted cultures, intertwined histories of conflict and cooperation. All right. What'd you call this place? Well, in reality, we call it Asia, a tiny term for a large place, if you ask me. If you're reading this in English, it's likely you grew up outside of Asia. Even so, your relatives or ancestors might be from Asia. If that's the case, you and the protagonist of this story, uh, Yuito, share something in common. You're both Asian. But, hmm, wait, Yuito is Japanese-American, a man, well off, and works at a hedge fund. Does it mean anything to say you're both Asian? Or to say you do Asian things? Or to say you support Asian causes? Those are big questions, and I wrote the story to try and understand some of them. So let's start. The story begins inside a dream. Incoming message for you, player. Press C to advance dialogue. No, yeah, figured that part out. <laughs> Press X to jump and use the up, right, down, left. Keys to move, I would assume. But it doesn't show that. Uh, one second, let me resize my window. Keys to move, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're this weird little um, blob man on interesting texture. These are, oh, there we go. Give your Q and E, pan the camera up, down, on free camera mode. Press return to change these settings. Okay. Um, return is this one. Oh, this one, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no, um, there we go. Got stuck for a second. So that's, whoa. What is in here? Human figure begins to speak. Yuito, Yuito, can you hear us? I can at least see the text you're causing to happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, interesting controls. Really interesting environment. Just this kind of pink checkerboard. Let's see. Oh, small man this time. Another human figure begins to speak. Yuito, it's me, your father. Come and meet with that person. Which person? Oh, I'm kicking up some dust. Okay, a little bit of... Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh. Just like that, the green diamond that appears at the end of any dialogue. Whenever you see any... Okay. Just like the green diamond that appears at the end of any dialogue, whenever you see any other icon appear in the bottom right, you can press C to interact or do something. Up ahead, when you see a blue ring icon appear, press C to enter a new area. Okay. Okay. So far, this game is really weird, but I like it. The interface is interesting. So we're in Yuito's condo now. It's Wednesday morning, two days after Yuito's dream. Yuito is in his Chicago apartment, speaking on the phone to his mother. Yuito, are you seriously thinking of going to see him again? Forget about that asshole. It's just one of his schemes at redeeming himself. I know, Mom. I mean, I agree with you. It's unforgivable for what he did to us, leaving after I was born. I guess I'm looking for my dad. I'm not going to give him redemption. But, the memory world procedure. This might be my only chance at meeting him. I need to go. So I guess this is what Yuito looks like. But that procedure is dangerous, it's still experimental. Doctor said it's pretty safe as long as- Well, maybe that doctor's just saying it's safe, you don't know. It's pretty safe as long as I don't stay too long. If you do stay too long, then what? I don't know. You're only thinking about yourself, Hibito. But it's my life at stake here, not yours, don't worry. Don't worry? Yuito, you're unbelievable, but... 
Look, I don't want to start a fight. Not now. Just be careful while you're in there. Promise you won't stay too long. Okay. I'm sorry, Mom. It'll be quick. Love you. I'll call you when I'm done. Yuito hangs up the phone. 31 years ago, in the late 1990s, he was born in the USA to Japanese parents. The father was transferred for work. The mother, a second-generation Japanese-American, was a medical researcher. The two met in Japan. Each day, Yuito works 9 to 7 and then returns to his downtown Chicago apartment. He picks up a letter from his father, sent from the hospital. I know I can't apologize for a lifetime of being absent, but please, if it's okay, forgive me enough to visit me, at least before my illness progresses. The previous day, Tuesday, Yuito visited, but his father was already unconscious and unlikely to recover. In his father's memory world, Yuito hoped to learn or meet anything about his father. Knowing there will never be a second chance, Yuito signs the waiver, travels to the hospital, and after speaking with the doctor, enters his father's memory world. Okay. So, his memory world looks strangely familiar. <laughs> Title screen. Okay. So, okay, I can move. Let's see. Oh. Check a room, a space between reality and a person's memory world. Connecting the hospital. Connected. The doctor speaks. Yuito? Hello? Doctor? Where are... As I discussed, you're in the checker room. I'll open the memory world entrance now. Ooh. Okay, Yuito, remember, if your dad dies and you're still in the memory world, you'll die too. So while your navigation pod makes it easy to get around, it's better if you don't stray far from the memory world entrance. Remember, what you see may shock you, but it's all just a visualization. Don't panic, as an extreme mental state might damage your fathers. I'll see you when you're done, Yuito. It's really interesting technology. See, oh, I have to interact with it. <laughs> I forgot about that. The White Expanse. All right, some sort of tower, looks like. Huh. Again, another really interesting looking landscape. Here we are, our little blob-like man. <laughs> Trying to ski around. Interesting how long you can hold jump. Try and find our way around here at least. Oops. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, looks like we got moved somewhere. Incoming message for you, the player. Interact with the well in order to save your game. Again, you may access the pause menu by pressing return. There, you can change the controls, quit the game, and more. Okay, well let's save. Uh, slot one, sure. All right, so let's go in here. I don't know why I would need to save, but interesting at least. Empty room. And something down here. camera angle. Oops. Controls are a little disorienting, but...
Hmm. Whoa. Some sort of thing. Okay, we can go inside the purple. A building, right. A lot of the memory world resembles real life due to my father's latent memories. So there might be people in there, who knows? In addition, there are places called memories, places that are strongly themed after highlights in a person's life. The doctor said memories are sparse in dying patients, but I should still search for them. Okay, so let's look around a little bit before we jump right into the, uh, whatever building this is. Anything back here? Oh, can't go back there, okay. Looks like they want me going in here, so. It's probably the best course of action. Go ahead and go in. This looks like a hospital, maybe. Or, oh no. Hmm. Maybe a subway station? Another save game, so go ahead and do that really quick. Okay. Here's something. Hi there, I was wondering if... Oh, they're speaking Japanese. Traveler turns away from Yuito, ignoring him. Okay. I don't know Japanese, so I won't be able to communicate with them. Maybe this person? Hi there, uh... Two travelers turn towards Yuito. The second one chimes in. Okay. Ah. They don't speak English. Well, let's let's talk to this person. A cheerful woman begins to talk. Okay, this is a, like a train station. Okay, she's speaking a lot of Japanese. Card, yours, stamp. Woman makes a stamping motion, offers Yuito a card. No, I'm okay. She says something else. Okay, well, it looks like we can take the red line or the other one. Let's go over here, maybe. See if there's anything up here before we take a train. Looks like this is access to the second story. Ah, more people. One, two more people. Oh, three more people. Yuto approaches a man with a large backpack. Hi, I'm looking for memories and. English. You on vacation? Because there aren't any memories here. Gotta go outside. But I'm guessing if you try to leave, they haven't let you yet. Yeah, you'll need a permit. Uh, just say this. Um, tell to the lady at the help desk. She'll get you started on application process. But you only need to go to the permit office and get it signed on. On. And filed. Okay, so I have to say that to the lady down there, I guess. So many Japanese. I just don't understand them at all, so. Go, oh, there's a couple people. A secretary, okay. Uh, you speak English? Uh, she's trying to, like, pronounce it out for us. But, it doesn't help since we don't speak Japanese. So this is the lady we're talking to with uh, the thing from the traveler dude. Piece of paper and a pen to the booth, okay. Uh, here? Question mark? Points to paper makes a signing motion. Ah. You sign. Vito signs the paper and sends it back to the worker. More Japanese. The woman stamps and returns the exit permit to Vito. Uh, thanks. Um, something in Japanese. Old looking guard turns to Vito. What? Sorry. Guard points to exit and then crosses his arms to an next sheet. I don't think I'm allowed to leave. Oh, that's that's where I need the uh, the permit for. Points to his permit. Okay, handing him the permit. Stamps. It. Okay. I hope there's no more Japanese after this. Where are these memories? Funny. So I guess now I can go up here. Huh. Kind of want, before I leave, 
Time to explore the train stations really quick. Didn't realize I wouldn't be able to come back up here. Let's see if I can go. And, oh. Oh, I can't jump in the slow ones. Like I can't even go near them. Interesting. Because there's definitely a little room back there. But what can you do? Alright, we're going to go back up to the top. So we're in the Advent Station. Which I guess is the name of the station. So we're just trying to figure out where to go. Go through here. Um, okay. Ooh. So his camera angle is getting a little disorienting. Okay. So, see? See here. Okay. So, now I'm in the room with some nice particles and music. Hopefully something interesting. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is... Okay, that's the edge. This is really pretty, though. Let's see if this says anything on it. Convenient sign. This way to the highway and the forest. Stay left for the highway. Otherwise, keep on your right for the forest. Behind you is Edmund Station. Or so the sign says. Okay. So... Oh, it's the desert crossroads. It's kind of interesting. It's in the desert. Maybe it's because his mind is decaying. No clue. So, do we want to go to the highway or the forest? Let's save really quick. I think the forest to start out with. Let's see if there's something to do here. Could be that I have to do something in one area before I can come back to the other, but no idea, so I can figure it out in a minute. Okay, so interesting looking trees. Okay, I can jump again, so that's nice. Look at these trees, huh? Interestingly designed. Oh. Okay, I thought that might have been something. Well, let's go to the forest, see what's going down here. Oh, wow. Looks like quite the jungle. Some huge trees and water. It's pretty. So, we're on a wooded path right now. So I imagine if we follow the path, we might end up at a memory. That would be good. Oh, okay, you have to kind of stay on the path. Interesting. Keep making our way through the forest. I really like the graphics in this game. They look pixely, but it's... It's really interesting style. Oh, we have some, some guards, maybe? Oh, it looks like they stopped us. Okay. Vito is thinking to himself, Man, it's been miles and still nothing. Hope I haven't gone too far. Two guards stand at the booth. Stop, sir. Uh, yes? Because of vandals, only those with permission can go proceed into Forest of Canyon. The second guard speaks up. It is as Judy says. I'm sorry, but we have orders to not let you in without a certificate of reason. Well, I've got a reason right here. I need to get through, so let me through. Jenna's right. To be honest, you don't look like trouble, but this is my job. Jenna stares at Rito. Yeah, it's mine too. Get out of here. Give me a break. You really get paid to stand here? Isn't it just a hiking trail? Judy laughs. Orders, kid. Then how do I get permission? Go back to Advent Station, present a history of your past crimes and places of employment, as well as proof of intention for your plans in the canyon. I don't have time for that. God, no one has time for that. Hmm. Jenna, what do you think? Jenna pauses. Well, if you want to take the blame... Fine, go ahead, says Judy. Jenna nods her head. Yeah, maybe show some respect while you're at it. Well, luckily we don't have to retrace our steps. We get to go on through 
two. 